Hello, everybody. My name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of the book Lean Media and host of the unofficial Amazon Deep Dive for Publishers, a video series that explains Amazon programs that you can use to expand your publishing business. Today, I'm going to be talking about Amazon advertising and how to use keywords from your Amazon advertising campaigns to make your book description better. So here is an Amazon advertising campaign that I set up for my book, Excel Basics in 30 Minutes. This is part of a series that my company publishes. I actually authored this book and I have a campaign running. It's called Excel SP Standard Auto Target 33 Start. Now, I gave it this weird name, but by looking at the name, there's some code words I put in there, so I know what it's all about. Excel, uh, sponsored product, kind of a, the standard ad type in sponsored product, and then auto target. What this means is that you are not uploading keywords for Amazon advertising to use in the campaign. Rather, Amazon's algorithms are deciding what keywords or what uh, types of search terms might correspond best uh, to people who are interested in the book that you're selling. And you can see that the, that the success rate is actually pretty good. Um, if you look at the sales level, this remember, this is gross sales on Amazon. This is not your net. Uh, but this is the amount of money that customers have paid on Amazon to get the books. That's about $223, and I've spent about $52 on that. Now, if you go up here to targeting, normally when you get to this page for any other type of ad campaign, or practically any other type of ad campaign, it will show you the list of keywords that you assigned to the campaign. But because, Am because this is automatic targeting, Amazon targets your ads to all relevant customer searches based on your product information. So it's looking at the product description. It's also using its vast database of keywords and search terms and customer interest to determine what, uh, you know, what's going to work. So Amazon is doing that all in the background. And I can't review the keywords unless I click this button that says Get Report. So if you click Get Report, you're brought to this screen and this lets you create advertising reports of search term data and uh, what what happens is when you, you basically I have a choice between downloading the search term data for either sponsored product ads or for sponsored brands and then there's other options as well uh, but what I'm really interested in is the search term so I want to know the search terms people are using for my sponsored product ads and then I can set the uh, you know the, the report period. And you can see, I've actually already done that. Over time, I've created these reports. These are listed down here. Um, basically taking, like a couple days ago, I did one that's taking about two months worth of data for all my sponsored product ads, and then I'm able to download it. And if I click that link and open it up into a browser, it looks like this. All right, so this is a uh, an Excel file that I, or a, a CSV file that I downloaded from Amazon Advertising, and it's actually huge. I mean, there's probably several thousand rows in this one, but basically it's showing all the keywords people have used over a two month period for my sponsored product ads, including uh, this one, the Excel SP standard auto target uh, 0.33 start. So this is the ad I was talking about. And all of a sudden I can look at the customer search terms people are using to get to that particular, uh, to, to basically to uh, look at that ad and to click on the click on the description to learn more and maybe to even to to buy the ad. So remember, Amazon is a CPC cost per click. So basically, they're showing. Let's say that they're showing a basic computer skills books. So they're showing that they showed that somebody searched for this term, basic computer skills book. It made an impression. It generated an impression on that particular day. That was um, actually. I don't know if I can see the date, but anyways, and that person clicked on it, um, and then they charged me money, some money for it. But you can actually see down here that there's all kinds of terms that people are using, and and the terms I'm really interested in are the terms that people are using more that are making that are making more clicks, like this one, bookkeeping book for business, hundred about hundred impressions, nine clicks, uh, nine percent click through rate. That's really good. So that tells me that maybe this term, bookkeeping book for business. Not only should I be using those in my advertising campaigns, but I should actually be using those on the book description itself. So that is when I go to Amazon KDP or KDP print or uh, Ingram or something like that, I should be using this term bookkeeping book for business or maybe bookkeeping in the keywords field and that will help people find it. So that's just a quick tip on how to optimize your uh, your. Your basically your book descriptions on Amazon 
and you can see there's lots of terms here and actually Amazon only gives you seven keywords so I'd have to make some choices about which ones to use but this data is really gold and you get it just as a result of using Amazon advertising so Amazon advertising is not just about making uh, exposing your book to more people and getting it sold but actually you can use the data from those campaigns to further optimize what you're selling on Amazon to learn more about how to optimize and expand your publishing business, check out my videos and my deep dive video series available from leanmedia.org. And thank you so much for watching.